of you tonight on social media. It is being called a barbaric attack on a Carrollton golf course. Our JD Miles live tonight from the Indian Creek golf course. Kaylee, this happened on the 17th hole when one group of golfers hit their golf balls into another group that was on the green, a no-no in golf. Moments later, a golfer was on the ground getting his skull cracked with a club. This is how what was supposed to be a relaxing day of golf ended for Michael Plumlee. Blood on his shirt, welts on his body that left the imprint of a golf club face, as well as a gash on the back of his head. We went to the hospital and um, found out that he had a fractured skull. Plumlee's mother says it happened on Friday afternoon at the Indian Creek Golf Course in Carrollton. That nobody should have to go through something like this when you're having a fun day of golf. The 27-year-old golfer and three friends were finishing putts on the 17th hole. That's when witnesses say another foursome, including Kevin Keogh Civile, broke golf etiquette by hitting their fairway shots at Plumlee and his friends. When Plumlee threw the ball off the green, witnesses say Civile swung an iron at the back of his head and continued hitting him with his club while the victim was on the ground. Golf is supposed to be a gentleman's sport. Yeah. It's, that's what I've always heard it to be, and it's, for something like this to happen, just... Yeah. It's unheard of. Plumlee was knocked unconscious and remains hospitalized three days later with a brain injury and broken ribs. Carrollton police say Civile tried to leave the golf course before they arrived, but was blocked by golf carts. He was charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Plumlee's family wants the other golfers who were with Civile to also face charges, since the victim's prognosis is uncertain. Um, and that it concerns me that any of these violent people could be out there free. A Carrollton police confiscated several clubs to determine which one was used as a weapon. Civile has a previous criminal conviction for car burglary, but his round of golf here on Friday could send him to prison for 20 years. Live in Carrollton, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News.